WXII 12 News. This is breaking news. And that breaking news this morning here at 530. Police are investigating after a man was stabbed overnight at an apartment complex in Winston-Salem. Officers were called to that apartment complex that's on Mock Street near Watown Street just before 1.30 this morning in regards to a shooting. Police say they found the victim lying outside of the complex. Investigators determined that a shooting had not occurred. Again, the victim had been stabbed during a fight inside the apartment building. The victim was taken to the hospital. We were told they are in critical condition at this time. An investigation is ongoing and will, of course, bring, work to bring you more updates as more information becomes available. Right now, though, at 530, let's turn things over to meteorologist Dave Bacon for a check of our forecast. Hey Jackie, yeah, you know, we've had a little rain across the area overnight last night and a few spotty showers across the region this morning. A few more showers in store for us as we go through the remainder of this morning, kind of in an off and on pattern, some periods of waves of rain from time to time. You can see some showers moving across the state now, some back out over the mountains, some more showers back over Tennessee that we'll deal with as we go on into the mid morning and at least the early part uh, of the afternoon before a lot of this tapers off. Might even get some sun in later on today. Actually, you can see the rains as they moved in across the area uh, over Overnight last night, still picking up some showers over portions of Rockingham, Guilford County, back out to Stokes, and also into eastern parts of Surrey County for Scythe County, picking up a little shower activity. And some of that extends back out in a spotty fashion over the foothills right now. 47 in Winston-Salem and Greensboro and Lexington. Temperatures 42 in Reedsville. So we're not real cold out there. It's a little cool with the rain from time to time. Back out in the mountains, temperatures are into the 40s as well. 42 in Allegheny County at this hour. So periods of off and on showers as we go through the morning hours, especially as we get on into late morning to around the noon hour and then things should start to taper off. The winds will pick up a little bit later on and it won't be very cold today. In fact, once we get this rain out of here later this afternoon, temperatures will be a little bit above normal. Our highs today we're expecting right around the 60 degree mark. The winds will pick up a little bit more and we'll see some clearing even up in the mountains. Temperatures there will be into the 50s later this afternoon. We'll have the rest of your weekend forecast coming up in just a little bit, a little bit of a cool day tomorrow. We'll discuss that in just a little while, Jackie. I will see you then, Dave. Thank you. Time now 532 and new this morning. A police chase ends with a crash in Winston Salem. This was the scene last night at the intersection of East Clemensville Road at Thomasville Road. Those air, that area was closed for several hours as officers were investigating. Forsyth County authorities tell us that a traffic stop was initiated, but the driver of the vehicle refused to stop, and that resulted in that pursuit and then concluded with the vehicle again crashing at Clemensville and Thomasville Roads. We were told State Highway Patrol is investigating, and we'll bring you updates on that investigation as we get that. This morning, we're hearing from the family of a man killed in Forsyth County earlier this week. Our Louis Tran spoke with the victim's mother about what her son meant to her and the community. I had just talked to him before this happened. I was like, I didn't get to say goodbye. Thursday night, Karen Money received a phone call that no mother ever wants to hear. Her son, Trey Money Brown, was shot and killed. I kept praying. I was like, God, please just let him be alive, be alive. And but it, 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 he wasn't, he wasn't, he was already gone. Forsyth County deputies say the shooting happened Thursday night on Hartman Plaza. Money Brown died at the scene, along with a part of his mother's heart. I'm just so emotional because I can't believe it. it's like last week he was here and we did Thanksgiving and we had the baby. It's just, it, I feel numb. I'm, I'm hurting because he wouldn't hurt nobody. Money says her son was the rock of the family. He was a brother, a son, and a father of a four-month-old daughter. He was all about wanting to just do for her and, and show her things and teach her things. And now we don't have that. We cared about him a lot more than what people thought. Stephanie Penninger grew up with her cousin, Money Brown, a relationship she cherished very deeply. You could feel the kindness and, and how big his heart was whenever you were around him. He gave so much. As the Christmas holiday approaches, Money is left with this Christmas tree her son recently set up and the gift he gave her, his unconditional love for his mom. I want to tell him I love him and I miss him and I wish this had not happened. <laughs> Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.
534 now three first responders are recovering after they were shot while responding to a house fire overnight in Rowan County. They were called first about that fire being told that a person was inside the mobile home. When crews went around the back of the home, they were met with gunfire. All three first responders are expected to live. The person investigators believe to be the suspected shooter died at this scene. A parent is accused of attacking an employee at East Forsyth High School. The school district tells us Tuesday night, Terry Harrison II walked into the gym and attacked the head woman's basketball coach in front of the team. Harrison is facing five misdemeanor charges now, including assault on a school employee. He has been banned from all schools within the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School District. This morning, we're continuing to follow the hoax at Wilkes Central High School that happened earlier this week, taking a closer look at how the district responded. So let's take you through the timeline here. The Wilkes County Sheriff's Office received a call just after 11 a.m. Thursday that there was an active shooter on the Wilkes Central High School campus. The school went into lockdown. Word of the potential threat made its way quickly onto social media, causing parents to worry. Many reached out to us here at WXII. Now, we spoke with the school district about this timeline and the steps they took. And Assistant Superintendent Wesley Wood says that parents were notified of the lockdown 40 minutes after it was initiated. The lockdown lasted one hour in total. And while that was a long 40 minutes for parents, Wood says student and staff safety was the priority and that it's important to make sure that school administrators had accurate, detailed information before releasing anything to families and the media. The school administrators and other administrators and staff are are heavily involved in the crisis at that moment in time and obviously can't can't stop to notify parents of, of what's happening play by play and um so we want to make sure whatever we release and i'm sure the sheriff's department feels the same way is very accurate information and we try to do that in a very timely uh manner so it wasn't a really huge period of time but certainly as a parent i mean one minute of thinking there may be an active shooters too long, you know. And there were local counseling agencies sent to assist the school yesterday, as well as a therapy dog. Several churches and community members have also reached out to provide care packages and support to those students and staff. Still ahead this morning, your Christmas tree may be more expensive.